Jesus is able to empathize with our pain because he was not exempt from experiencing the honor-shame dynamics within the post-Genesis 3 world. And I need y'all to hang on with me for just a little bit longer. On the cross, he was reversing what took place in Genesis 3. And he was also restoring the honor that we were created with in Genesis 1 and 2. The most honored being in the cosmos chose to become a human to remedy this. As the ultimate image bearer, he is the exact representation. He is the exact reflection. He is the exact image of the invisible God. And on the cross hung this image bearer, who was also known as the second Adam. And from Adam's side, another life was formed and she was called woman. And now from the side of Jesus pours out his life-giving source, his blood, to make sure that his bride would be formed and her name is the church. That is you, ladies and gentlemen. And as the rivers flowed from Eden, Jesus is now having water leak out his side. This is the new river of life. As the forbidden fruit was taken off the tree, Jesus is putting sin back on the tree. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> and as they ate, it was like they were tasting death because death was now their fate. But Jesus is tasting death on a tree so that we can taste life. After Adam and Eve sinned, they were ashamed of their nakedness and were clothed with animal skins. And as he atoned for sin, Jesus was stripped naked as a way to shame him. And instead of animal skins, our shame is now covered by his blood. The cross is the new tree of life from which eternal life spreads to the world. Just as Adam and Eve were exiled out of the garden where they would die one day, Jesus is exiled on that cross where he gave up his spirit and he died. Now, Jesus is the offspring of the woman that was talked about in Genesis 3.15. And he is being bitten by the serpent on this cross. And I can only imagine... The fact that Satan wanted to shame God himself in front of the world and bring dishonor to his name by saying, look what I can do to the son of God. Can't even protect his own son. But as folks in the, folks in the black church say, but God. Yeah. <laughs> was God was putting Satan and the kingdom of darkness to shame on that cross. Yes. He thought it was a victory, but he, it was his ultimate loss. That's right. The Jewish leaders, the Romans, and the serpents intended to humiliate Jesus on the cross, but the father said, this is how I exalt my son, who has brought me honor by being perfectly obedient to me, even unto a cross. To the people, Jesus' death was the epitome of shame, but to God, it was the supreme act of faithful obedience. Jesus understood that he represented far more than himself. He was the representative of the Father. And because of what Jesus has done on the cross, we now have been restored to a place of honor as a new humanity in him.